Hey everyone, welcome to Everything Cooks. Today we are going to make some potato wedges, or I like to call them steak fries, at home super quick. This is a fast and easy recipe. So of course you're going to need a potato, just some salt, pepper, and some oil. You can use olive oil, I use avocado oil, they both work out the same. Of course you're going to need an air fryer, and a bowl, and a knife. All we got to do is cut this into steak fry type pieces. I like to cut it in half first. I leave the skin on for these type of potatoes. You can cut it off or, you know, whatever you call it, shear it off if you like. We're going to cut them into half and then we're going to make four out of each of these. So I go on the side, one, two, three, four. See how quick that was? And now we'll do that to the other side. And we have our steak potatoes. Let's go ahead and switch this out for a bowl. Now all we're gonna do is add in a little bit of oil. I've got about a tea tablespoon here, but I'm probably gonna use a little bit of it, maybe about half of it, about a half a tablespoon per potato. We just wanna make sure that gets coated on everything. We'll throw in some salt and pepper. I put some around the bowl so when I shake it as well, it gets all coated on everything. And then salt. Then we'll shake them up. Now this bowl shakes real good. You can use your hands and just kind of mash them up as well. Oh, lost one. And we're ready to cook. So in most air fryers, these will fit pretty well. We're going to go ahead and of course space them out. You might hear some sizzling. That's because I did turn on my air fryer for about two minutes at 350, just on the standard temperature, just to get it going. Not too worried about that, but you can preheat your air fryer a little bit. And as you can see, these fit in there pretty perfectly for one potato. If you have more than one potato, kind of Lincoln log them and keep stacking them up, but with good airflow. You could do about two or even three potatoes, but we're just doing one today. All right, now seriously, these are this easy. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our air fryer, set it to 375. I'm gonna turn this to 12 minutes. Put them in, and we're gonna shake these about every uh, five minutes. At seven minutes, after five minutes, I'm gonna do my first flip. And since I do only have one layer here, I'm just gonna flip them around. Be very careful or use tongs. Don't do what I do, I'm using my hands. I'm just gonna flip them all one time. That is hot. <laughs> all right, put them back in, keep going. Now it's been a couple more minutes and we're down to five. Every minute or so now you can give them a little shake. You don't have to worry about putting them a certain way. Now we're down to three minutes and they're getting basically close to done. But I like mine extra crispy. So what I'm gonna do at the last three minutes, turn my temp all the way up to 400. That's the top on most air fryers. If yours is higher, just set it to 400. We'll keep going, shaking about every minute. And let's take out our finished product here. Oop, that's hot. And this is what we end up with, some amazing steak fries. Get a little crunch. On the inside, super soft, just how steak shot fries should be. Have any questions, let me know. Cook these up, they're super simple and quick to cook at home, almost no prep, just a quick fry in that air fryer. And this is Everything Cooks. We'll see y'all later.